15 Things You Didn't Know About London. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome back to another amazing video. You guys liked the one we did on Singapore so much that we wanted to give you another one. This time we're looking at another city where billionaires love to spend their time. London. One of the most iconic cities in Europe, London has a rich history of memorable monarchs, incredible architecture, and unique culture. Now that property prices are so high throughout the city, many homes are being bought by the foreign super rich. London can offer a slice of the high life, which many other cities just can't match. Plus, you can guarantee that you're going to get an equally big slice of impressive history to go with it. Because Alux.com is dedicated to becoming the world's best resource on the most expensive luxury items and places around the globe, we had to take a look at the city where the super rich love to spend their hard-earned and not-so-hard-earned currency. With that being said, let's take a look at the 15 things you didn't know about London. Number 1. According to the Sunday Times Rich List 2015, London has more billionaires than any other city in the world. Russian and Chinese billionaires in particular flock to London, buying up property in the wealthiest areas, including Mayfair, Kensington, and Belgravia. With Harrods around the corner for their groceries, and no worries about affording the congestion charge, it's no wonder foreign billionaires are shipping their Bentleys over and buying up four-story townhouses. Number 2. You can sip cocktails with a perfect view of one of London's most famous landmarks, St. Paul's Cathedral on the Madison Rooftop Bar. St. Paul's Cathedral is one of the most iconic London landmarks, and its domed roof can be seen perfectly from the Madison Rooftop Bar, where sharing cocktails costs over $100 each. The rich kids of Instagram would have a field day with that view. Number 3. Henry VIII's wine cellar is still underneath the Ministry of Defense in Whitehall. The Palace of Whitehall used to be where England's kings and queens lived, but now it's the Ministry of Defense's headquarters. One of the last remaining parts of the old palace is King Henry VIII's wine cellar, which can still be seen today. Henry spent $10 million in today's money developing his collection, so it's easy to see why he was famous for his decadence and expanding waistline. Number 4. You have to drive on the wrong side of the road to get to the five-star Savoy Hotel's door. Brits will call it the wrong side of the road. To everyone else, it's the right side of the road. This is the only street in London where it's allowed, and no one really knows why. It's kind of like the changing of the guards, a weird tradition that just keeps going for no real reason. London is particularly good at keeping these traditions going. Number 5. A Mayfair mansion sold for £90 million in 2015, making it the most expensive house in the UK that year. The 21,000 square foot mansion was built in 1736 and includes a spa and leisure complex and a ballroom that fits 200 people in it. Like many Mayfair houses, it was a commercial property for years, even housing the Royal Air Force's headquarters for a few years during World War I. But now, it's finally found a buyer with a deep enough pocket to call it home. A while back, we ranked the 10 most expensive houses in the world, and it turns out that there's a property in London that's worth more than $1 billion. We'll link to that video after this one, or click on the top right corner. Number 6. Kensington and Chelsea became the first borough in London to stop wealthy property owners from building iceberg homes. Some areas of London are extremely luxurious for real estate, but being in a city doesn't allow for quite the same amount of room as some other fancy destinations. As a result, billionaire property buyers have started building down and creating mega basements that have actually started to make the ground unstable around them. They are now banned in the royal borough, so the Queen's home doesn't get subsidence as a result. 
Number 7. At the Four Seasons, you can have a massage in a relaxation pod with a view of Hyde Park. This famous hotel's spa has nine treatment rooms made out of glass, allowing for the ultimate in relaxing escapism. Guests can look out at London's most beautiful park while someone needs the knots of tension out of their super rich shoulders. Life sure is tough. Number 8. The Royal Suite in the Lanesborough Hotel is the most expensive hotel suite in the city. It costs nearly £27,000 a night. £27,000 is about the average yearly salary in the UK, and it would all be blown on this seven-bedroom suite, which overlooks Buckingham Palace. There is a dining room for 12 people, access to a butler, and you can use the hotel's Rolls-Royce Phantom free of charge, too. Not that any guest staying there is really going to need a handout. Can you believe there are even more expensive hotels than that? We can prove it. Take a look at our video on the most expensive hotels in the world and be amazed. Number 9. The only person allowed to physically touch the crown jewels, other than the monarch themselves, is the crown jeweler. The crown jeweler is responsible for maintaining and securing the crown jewels. This vast collection includes jewelry worn by Henry V at the Battle of Agincourt, the St. Edward's Crown, which is encrusted with 444 precious stones and gems, and many other crowns used in coronations at Westminster Abbey. Number 10. The Dorchester Hotel's $300 per head tasting menu makes it the most expensive restaurant in the city. Alain Duchesse brings diners modern French cuisine at the Dorchester Hotel's restaurant in Piccadilly. For your $300, you get a private dining experience inside what can only be described as a white, fiber-optic light cave. The portions are tiny, but that's to be expected. Number 11. The Queen's London Homes. Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle technically don't belong to her, they belong to the state. The Queen has four homes, but only officially owns two of them, Balmoral in Scotland and Sandringham House in Norfolk. She's technically a tenant when she's living in London and conducting her business there, though she could definitely be considered the fanciest tenant in the world. Number 12. The world's most expensive cocktail is available at Gigi's in Mayfair. $11,000 will buy you the Gigi's a cocktail which was originally made for Grace Jones and is now the most expensive in the world. It's made with vintage 1990 Cristal Champagne and brandy from 1888. You have to pay for it in advance for obvious reasons. Just don't spill it. Number 13. The 2012 London Olympics boosted the British economy by about 10 billion pounds. The world's eyes were on London in 2012, when it was the city's turn to host the Olympic Games. Despite costing a fortune, the buzz and tourism created meant they turned a profit and created much more revenue for the nation. London in particular has benefited, with 2.1 of the $10 billion generated by tourists visiting the city specifically for the Games. Number 14 you can buy the most expensive perfume in the world from Harrods. One of the most famous and iconic department stores in the world, Harrods is known for its luxury and its eye-watering price tags. It's one of those, if you have to ask, you can't afford it kind of places. This price tag in particular takes the cake though. For $174,000, you can buy a one-of-a-kind scent created by perfumer Clive Christian. Even the bottle is 24 karat gold. Before we were doing these longer videos, we only focused on the most expensive items in the world. Might want to check it out. Number 15. Ukrainian-born businessman Len Blavatnik is the richest man in the UK, worth $16.9 billion. He obviously lives in London. 
Len Blavatnik owns a grade two listed mansion in Kensington Palace Gardens, otherwise known as the most expensive street in Britain, which means he can call the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge his neighbors. You need some serious money to be able to borrow a cup of sugar from English royalty. London really does have it all. You can live next door to royalty, wear $174,000 perfume, and until recently, you could build a luxury spa and a ballroom in your basement. If you were a billionaire with your sights set on London property, where would you look? Would you want to rub shoulders with the Cambridges like Len Blavatnik, or would you prefer something with a view of that iconic St. Paul's Dome? Oh, you're still here? Well, here's another amazing fact about London for you. Harrods used to sell cocaine over the counter until 1916. It used to be bought as a painkiller and a pick-me-up before it was outlawed. You can still get pretty much anything at Harrods, but cocaine is definitely off the price list. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy. Or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.